The parents of eight-year-old Maddie Clifton reliving their worst nightmare in court as their child's killer took the stand, apologizing through tears. Joshua Phillips took the stand just hours ago as his attorneys tried to get the judge to rule that he should not spend the rest of his life in prison. Channel 4's Chris Parento joins us live from the courthouse. Chris. Mary, hard to even put into words the emotion inside of the courtroom for about an hour and a half today, and that all began when Josh Phillips took the stand. The now 33-year-old described what life has been like in prison. He talked and looked directly at where the Clifton family was sitting for most of what he said, talking about the sorrow and the regret and how things have been for him, even considering taking his own life. But then things got even more emotional when the family of Maddie Clifton took the stand, her mother recounting a phone call that she made the morning after the eight-year-old's disappearance to a local radio station to try to get the word out and get any help she could finding her daughter. That montage lasted about three to four minutes inside of the courtroom and many, many members who were inside of there crying, sobbing uncontrollably on both sides of the courtroom as they listened to the agony in that mother's voice. Uh, Maddie Clifton's father took the stand talking about what it was like for him when he found out. Her older sister, 11 years old at the time, now 30 years old, Jesse Clifton took the stand talking about when she found out that Maddie was gone running outside, screaming her name, doing everything that she could to try to find her younger sister. But when now Sheila Delonges took the stand, she was very emotional, recounting when she found out that her eight-year-old daughter had been killed. They sat us down on the couch and they told us where they had found, or that they had found. And the first thing Steve was said was, where was she? And the police said, right across the street. <laughs> That was such a nightmare. Ma, I thought we were going to... Somebody had to jump on my brother-in-law to keep him from going outside that house and going and doing something horrible. It just was... Everybody was so angry. Sheila Delonges, Steve Clifton, and Jesse Clifton were the only three to take the stand on behalf of the prosecution today. All three are expected to again take the stand tomorrow to give victim impact statements about this case. Live inside the Duval County Courthouse, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.